Parisian taxi drivers have vowed to block roads leading into the French capital on Monday to protest a court's refusal to ban urban ride-sharing service Uber Pop like their counterparts in large cities across the globe. Parisian taxi drivers are fed up with what they see as unfair competition from Uber's popular smartphone taxi service. Uber Pop which uses non-professional drivers using their own cars to take on passengers at budget rates, has 160,000 users in France, according to the company. A commercial court in Paris ruled on Friday that a new law making it harder for Uber drivers to solicit business could not be enforced until the government had published full details of the restrictions. It's the straw that breaks the camel's back, said Ibrahim Asila, president of France Taxis, whose organization has joined several others in calling for the early morning protest tomorrow. They have urged taxi drivers to gather at the northern Roissy Charles de Gaulle Airport in the southern Orly Airport at 5 o'clock and before slowly converting on the city in a bid to block arterial highways. This is a fight against Uber. We were fed up. Allowing Uber pop means leaving 57,000 French taxis high and dry, and thus 57,000 families. San Francisco-based Uber is giving the S and European taxi industries a run for their money by hooking up drivers and passengers through a cell phone application. The company founded in 2009 is worth a whopping use 40 billion. 32 billion euros and says it operates in 250 cities in 50 countries. However it is battling lawsuits in a string of countries for unfair competition and rising anger over drivers who are not properly vetted and beholden to no one. New Delhi last week banned Uber from operating in the Indian capital after a passenger accused one of its drivers of rape. Thailand, the Netherlands and Spain have ruled it illegal and Denmark and Norway have filed complaints against the company. Brussels also announced Friday it plans to file a complaint. The company argued in France that banning its service violates the practice of free enterprise and the principle of equality. Please subscribe the video.